Okay, so today's video is going to be about um, damage limitations on rigid tubing. We're going to talk about scratches and we're going to talk about dents. And then tomorrow we'll talk about how, what are the four ways we can repair those if we found them and they were outside of the limitations. So before we worry about that, let's worry about the limitations on rigid tubes. So let's say we come across a rigid tube and it's got a scratch or a nick in it. And we're, we're trying to decide, well, is this scratch or nick uh, within allowable tolerances? Well, the way to determine that is you have to know the wall thickness of it because scratches or nicks deeper than 10% of the wall thickness must be repaired. So if you have a scratch or a nick and it's deeper than 10%, then you got to then you got to uh, repair it. Now, just because it's a scratch and it's less than 10% doesn't mean you can ignore it because that's going to be a stress point. You still have to repair it, but it's going to be repaired in a lot easier fashion than we'll talk about tomorrow. So first of all, let's do a calculation on um scratches and let's let's uh, i'm going to give you guys a tube size and let's try and figure out what's the deepest scratch allowed on that particular tube so here's a calculation it says what is the deepest scratch allowed on the following tube and the two part numbers a and 5052 again composition code dash 12 uh 12 sixteenths outside diameter or three quarters and then by 0 0.063 was a wall thickness well when it comes to scratches we're only concerned about wall thickness so out of all this part number, the only thing that's of concern when it comes to scratches is this last number, 0 0.063. And the limitation is 10% of that wall thickness. So it would be 0 0.063, the wall thickness, multiplied by 10%. 10% is the allowable tolerance on this. And that would be equal to 0 0.0063. So the, the answer to this question, the deepest scratch allowed on this particular tube and there's a scratch, by the way, with a little arrow going to it, would be 0 0.0063. All right, now let's try the next thing, which is a dent. Let's say something impacted a line and dented the tube. Now, when it comes to dents, it's, you're, not as, you're not concerned with wall thickness. You're, you're concerned with outside diameter. And the reason why is it says dents of 20% or deeper of the tubing diameter, meaning outside diameter, must be repaired by a replacement tube. So if they're deeper than 20%, you're going to have to do one of the repair methods we're going to talk about tomorrow. If they're less than 20%, it still needs to be repaired, but it's a lot easier process. And it has to do with uh, pulling a bullet-shaped piece of metal through the tube, removing the dent. Okay, so before we can even do that, we need to figure out, okay, well, what what is the limitation? So we are going to do a practice calculation on that one also. So if I look at this equation here on the bottom one, I've got my little dent in the tube, and it says, what is the deepest dent allowed on the following rigid tube? Well, we're going to look at the part number, it's AN 5052-8-0.063. Now, when it comes to dents, we're not concerned about just wall thickness. We're concerned about outside diameter because it's 20% of outside diameter is the limitation. So the outside diameter would be this dash 8. That's 8 sixteenths, which is a half inch. Okay, Half inch would convert over to decimal would be 0 0.5. This, again, all review stuff here. Now that we know the outside diameter in decimal form, let's go ahead and multiply that by the 20% limitation allowed on this tube. And we would find out that we're basically allowed 0 0.100 inch uh, dent. If it's deeper than that, it's going to have to be repaired by one of the four methods we're going to talk about tomorrow. If it's less than that, it still needs to be repaired, but it can be repaired by pulling a bullet-shaped piece of metal through the line. I hope this helps out on damage limitation. Um, and uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll talk about the four ways of repairing rigid tube.